Evita Law in the Philippines for Electric and Hybrid Vehicles is a new movement towards a greener mobility and fossil fuel-free environment, Republic Act RA 11697, also known as the Electric Vehicle Industry Development Act, has lapsed into law last April 15, 2022. The Evita Law outlines the regulatory framework and provides a roadmap for e-vehicles operation in the Philippines and it is indeed a timely response to the increasing fuel rise in our country. A lot of vehicle companies are switching to electric vehicles too. Step ahead for trends as they offer hybrid electric vehicles in their fleets, and both powered by an engine and electric motor. As part of the Avita law, owners of e-vehicles as well as hybrid vehicles can now enjoy full exemption from coding, including parking from various establishments, because of the designated parking allotted for e-vehicles. Under the Electric Vehicle Development Act law, all electric and hybrid vehicles will be issued a specialized EV license plate and will be entitled to tax exemptions. Full battery-operated vehicles will be exempted from 100% excise tax while hybrid vehicles that operate both by fuel and battery will be given 50% of excise tax exemption. Under the train law, also known as Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion Law, the law provides convenience for owners who are getting either an electric vehicle or a hybrid vehicle. Owners will get to enjoy savings from fuel pump as well as the incentives on the long-term run from excise tax exemptions. With the Avida law, the Philippines will now venture into a greener environment and the economical upgrade for vehicles. This move clearly demonstrates the government's commitment to ushering in the next generation of transportation in the country. The law specifies that a vehicle must feature at least one electric drive for propulsion in order to be eligible for the benefits. Battery electric vehicles are one type of eligible electric vehicle because they generate electricity from traction batteries. Hybrid electric vehicles are yet another category of Battery-powered automobiles like system parallel hybrids, series hybrids, mild hybrids, PLUG and hybrids are also recognized under the law. Finally, the law covers lightweight electric vehicles like e-scooters, e-bikes, and segways, all of which are alternatives to traditional means of micromobility. The Avita law also acknowledges that it is not difficult to develop new types of electric vehicles due to the rapid changes that can be made by technology. Therefore, new electric vehicles that will soon be built are also included, provided that they are approved by the Department of Energy and that they use at least one electric motor. Several public and commercial establishments are both obligated by Avita law to install charging stations. The first variety are public charging stations designed for business usage found in places like supermarkets and malls. The second type are own-use charging stations, which refer to private facilities that aren't available to the general public, such as those found in a business or cooperative. Finally, there is the battery swapping station where a fully charged battery can be exchanged for one that is low. These options laid out in the law give assurance to people who drive electric vehicles in the Philippines that they won't have any trouble finding a place to plug them in. One of the finest provisions of the law is that it exempts electric vehicle owners from the mandate of Metropolitan Manila Development Authority MMDA and other government agencies' number coding schemes and similar traffic volume reduction programs. The law also provides fee reductions for paying the motor vehicle user's charge at each registration renewal. In addition to that, the Land Transportation Office will give BEV and HEV owners precedence when registering a new car, as well as priority when renewing registration and issuing a special license plate. The LTFRB will also expedite the processing of franchise and renewal applications from public transportation of operators. These operators can send their staff to TESTA to avail themselves of training programs and learn about electric vehicles manufacturing, operation, and maintenance. In addition to the import of raw materials for their manufacture, 
as well as the construction and assembly of charging infrastructure, will be exempt from the tax. This is a five-year plan to lower the cost of electric vehicles and make them more accessible to consumers by 2027. Financial aid from the government and commercial financial institutions, such as a consumer loan, is also included in the law for those who wish to launch an EV business. The Banco Central and Pilipinas will encourage banks to provide financing for electric vehicles and charging infrastructure, including charging stations and batteries production, assembly, and use. Finally, although not technically a benefit provided by law, one of the biggest advantages of owning an EV is, is that you can save more money than using gas. As explained by Electric Vehicle Association of the Philippines, Chairman Emeritus Ferdi Rockwell Sanos. Thank you for watching. Archive Story Vlogs. Jesus loves you.